Uncovering Shadows A Journalist's Quest for Truth The city of Havenbrook, nestled in the heart of the Midwest, had always been a quiet haven for its residents. A place where families flourished, where local businesses thrived, and where life seemed predictable, simple, and uneventful. That was until a dark cloud cast its shadow over the city, and the tranquility of Havenbrook was shattered forever. Part 1 – Uncovering Shadows A Quiet Beginning Sandra Mitchell was a young journalist working for the Havenbrook Tribune. Fresh out of journalism school, she had a fire in her belly for uncovering the truth. Her reporting had always been straightforward, covering community events and local news. But when a series of peculiar incidents caught her attention, she couldn't resist the urge to dig deeper. It all began with whispers in the alleys and hushed conversations in the town's cafes. A group of influential figures had been holding secret meetings, and their intentions were far from transparent. Sandra decided to investigate, starting by talking to her sources and collecting bits and pieces of information. As Sandra delved deeper into the story, she began to sense a palpable danger. She received anonymous threats, her car tires were slashed, and her apartment was broken into. Undeterred, she pressed on, determined to expose the truth. The path ahead was treacherous, but her determination was unwavering. Sandra had reached a dead end when she stumbled upon a clue that would change the course of her investigation. A janitor at City Hall, Joe Simmons, had overheard a conversation that hinted at corruption within the local government. He decided to confide in Sandra, becoming her unlikely ally in the quest for justice. Joe provided Sandra with a journal, filled with cryptic notes and coded messages, that he had discovered in the trash. It was written by a whistleblower within the corrupt group. Sandra knew this was her golden ticket to expose the truth. Part 2 – Unraveling Secrets The Deciphering Sandra spent sleepless nights deciphering the journal's contents. Each entry was a puzzle, leading her deeper into the heart of the scandal. As she cracked the codes, the names of powerful politicians and businessmen emerged, casting a long shadow over Havenbrook's integrity. Sandra decided to go undercover as an intern at City Hall, using a pseudonym to protect her identity. Her objective was to gather more evidence, but it came with a steep price, the risk of discovery. The closer she got to the truth, the more perilous her mission became. Through the journal's notes, Sandra uncovered a trail of bribery, embezzlement, and illicit dealings. She began to piece together the web of corruption that had ensnared Havenbrook. The more she learned, the more she realized that the scandal ran deeper and reached higher than she could have ever imagined. As Sandra got closer to exposing the truth, she was caught in a dangerous game of cat and mouse. Her cover was nearly blown, and she narrowly escaped capture. But she couldn't turn back now. The people of Havenbrook deserved to know the extent of the corruption that had infested their city. Part 3 – Rising Against the Darkness The Breaking Point With mounting evidence in hand, Sandra prepared to break the story. She had to tread carefully, ensuring that her sources remained safe and the truth was undeniable. The closer she got to publication, the heavier the weight on her shoulders became. Sandra's expose rocked Havenbrook to its core. 
The local newspapers and television stations carried the story, and the scandal became a national headline. The names of corrupt officials were exposed, and the people were outraged. As the truth came to light, those implicated in the scandal desperately tried to protect themselves. They denied the allegations, attempted to discredit Sandra's reporting, and even filed lawsuits against the Havenbrook Tribune. But the truth had a way of prevailing. The scandal had shaken Havenbrook to its core, but it also revealed the resilience of its people. Citizens organized protests, demanding accountability and justice. The city's residents stood together, determined to reclaim their town from the grip of corruption. In the end, justice prevailed. Corrupt officials were brought to trial, and many were sentenced to prison. The city of Havenbrook began the arduous process of healing and rebuilding. Sandra's relentless pursuit of truth had not only exposed the shadows but also brought hope back to her beloved town. Epilogue, A Beacon of Light The story of Sandra Mitchell's investigation into the local political scandal became a symbol of courage, resilience, and the unyielding power of the press. Havenbrook, once shrouded in darkness, had found its way back to the light, and Sandra had played a pivotal role in that transformation. In the end, it wasn't just a journalist's quest for truth, it was a testament to the enduring spirit of a community and the indomitable will of one woman who refused to let shadows define her city. Thank you so much for watching this video till the end. Unmasking the Shadows A Journalist's Battle for Truth It was a chilly autumn morning when Sarah Mitchell, a relentless investigative journalist, sat at her cluttered desk at the Daily Beacon, a local newspaper in the heart of Valleydale. Her fingers danced across the keyboard, her gaze fixed on the screen, as she typed furiously, working on a story that had consumed her every waking moment for the past few months. Part 1, The Anonymous Tip Sarah had always been driven by a sense of justice and a desire to expose the truth. She had started her career covering small, town events, but her ambition led her to take on more substantial stories. Her latest venture had plunged her into the murky waters of local politics. It all began with an anonymous tip she received one fateful evening. The message had been brief and cryptic, promising to reveal a political scandal that had been hidden for years. The tipster had signed off as a watchful citizen. Sarah's initial skepticism faded as she delved into the lead. The deeper she went, the more she realized the enormity of the situation. Valleydale City Council, a once honorable body, was steeped in corruption, but the truth was buried beneath layers of deceit and conspiracies. Sarah meticulously traced backdoor deals, dubious campaign financing, and whispers of graft. She uncovered a web of connections between the council members and influential local businessmen. The deeper she dug, the darker it got, and Sarah could sense the shadowy figures lurking behind the scenes. As Sarah got closer to the truth, her personal life began to suffer. Her friends and family could hardly recognize the woman who used to be the life of the party, as she became consumed by her investigation. She felt isolated, losing herself in the mire of her work. But she couldn't stop, wouldn't stop, until she uncovered the entire truth. Part 2, Allies and Adversaries 
Despite the toll on her personal life, Sarah's determination only grew stronger. She found allies in unexpected places. Joe Ramirez, a former council member who had turned whistleblower, had a wealth of information. Together, they formed an uneasy alliance, driven by their shared desire to expose the truth. But as her investigation progressed, Sarah also began to encounter adversaries. Threatening letters and anonymous phone calls served as stark reminders that those implicated in her findings were willing to go to great lengths to protect their secrets. The turning point came when Sarah received a cryptic message from an anonymous source who claimed to have insider knowledge of the scandal. The source, who used the pseudonym Deep Throat, arranged a clandestine meeting in a dimly lit parking garage. Sarah nervously approached the rendezvous point, unsure of what to expect. In the shadows, a figure emerged, their face obscured. What followed was a whispered revelation that sent chills down her spine. Deep Throat provided documents, photos, and recordings that painted a chilling picture of corruption at the highest levels of city government. Part 3. The Unmasking Sarah continued to meticulously piece together the puzzle, corroborating every detail with her newfound evidence. She had enough to write the expose that would rock Valleydale to its core. The story was set to be published, but Sarah knew she was about to make powerful enemies. The day the story was published, Valleydale erupted in shock and outrage. The newspaper's offices were inundated with calls, both supportive and threatening. The scandal was headline news for weeks, and it led to investigations, resignations, and even arrests. However, the fallout was not without consequences for Sarah. She became a target herself, facing harassment, intimidation, and even a break, in at her apartment. But she refused to back down, bolstered by the public's support for her bravery and determination. As the truth continued to emerge, Sarah began to receive recognition for her unwavering commitment to justice. Awards, accolades, and job offers from major national publications followed. She had made her mark, and Valleydale would never be the same. Sarah's investigation had lasting effects on Valleydale. The city council underwent major reforms, and transparency became a top priority. The town's residents learned the importance of holding their leaders accountable, and Sarah's story served as a shining example of the power of the press. Part 4. The Unbreakable Journalist Years passed, but Sarah's passion for the truth never waned. She continued to expose corruption and injustice, never shying away from the toughest stories. Her journey had transformed her from a small, town journalist to a national figure, but she remained grounded in her mission to bring the shadows into the light. The story of Sarah Mitchell, the journalist who had unmasked the shadows in Valleydale, served as an enduring source of inspiration for aspiring journalists and all those who believed in the power of relentless determination and the pursuit of truth. Thank you so much for watching this video till the end. Please hit the like button if you like this video, and hit the subscribe button to learn English through watching these kinds of interesting stories daily. Please click on the screen on any video showing on your screen to watch it next. Once again, thank you so much for watching this video till the end.